Now you're running the beginning? Hey everybody, welcome. This is Armed Forces Day over here at Kissimmee, Florida. We're at the lakefront. Um, American Legion Post Number 10 is basically the sponsor for this, and we're going to show you a little bit of what's going on. Uh, we were lucky enough. It's a, first of all, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's not too hot. The sun's out. We got a little bit of wind going, and we're going to show you what's going on here. So if you hold on, I'm going to take a walk over here so you can take a look over my shoulder. So, John, if you'll switch cameras a minute. Whoa, there we go. All right, anyhow, you can see behind me, we got a bunch of vendors over here. I'm not sure exactly how many vendors, but I'm gonna call Mike in in just a minute. Uh, Mike Blanchett is uh, like our left-hand man. He's not our right-hand man because of him, I spilled Coke on me today. So he's shaking his head no, but he, Mike, come on over here a minute, Mike. Come on, don't don't lie. Oh, you got a little on you too. All right. Yeah, you threw it on me. Oh yeah, right. Right, Mike. Tell us a little bit about this because you go to all these. You you represent Cycle Fever TV, CFTV, and most important, USO, USO. Benefit Ride. Yep. So tell us a little bit about what's happening here. Uh, today's Armed Forces Day out here in beautiful Kissimmee, Florida, on the lakefront. Um, we're out here today because we're invited for the banner signing which is for the USO ride that goes in the care packages. Um, so you have other things going on. You have the US Army out here. You have a couple, about 50 different vendors. Um, they have the wall out here. I mean, there's a bunch of different things going on. They got a band fixing to go on stage here in about 10 minutes. Then they got another band, a big band called Harlequin playing from five to seven tonight. Um, but it's great, like I said, it's a great day right here on the waterfront. It's nice and cool breeze coming off the lake. So should make for a fun day. If not do anything, come out. If you've never been here, you go to downtown uh, Kissimmee. When you get to downtown Kissimmee, all you got to do is once you're on the main street, once you can get on a road that'll let you go left, turn left, it'll take you right to the lakefront. And I got to tell you, I'm impressed. Last year it rained here. This year it's beautiful. They got a whole bunch of vendor vendors. Um, what do we got over there, Mike? That's the wall. That's the uh, Vietnam uh, Veterans Memorial Wall. And then they have the 9-11 Memorial Wall on the other side that you can't see because there's a couple cars blocking us from viewing it right now. Yeah, we had some great views until, uh, guess what? I'm gonna move over, uh, you'll take, that camera is got over here. So I'm gonna come over here a minute. I don't see me yet. He's, well, oh yeah, there I am. Anyhow, if you look behind us, we got the Sheriff's Department back there and uh, that big old truck that came over here, I, on this side of me, blocked the stage. And then we got the motorcycles over here, and then we got a car that blocks the wall over there. But they were the only smart ones. Where, do you see where they took the only shade? Yeah, they took the only shade. I'm gonna go tell them you want them to move. Yes, do that. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'll go tell them. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, start off with the big truck. Okay. And then move, the, move that uh, vehicle over there. As a matter of fact, why don't you drive them? Okay. All right, go ahead and get in, and uh, we'll I film you. Pull, I got pulled with the sheriff. Now I know I'm you do. I know you got sh <laughs> As a matter of fact, why don't you go get in that? Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Um, give me a camera that's lined up on it. I don't know how this far one, my... This one's lined up on can it right you see this? Can you see you getting in? Yep. All right, everybody. Hang on. Mike's going to go in there, and he's going to take the truck and move it. Oh, yes, you are. You said you were. All right, everybody. See if they'll let you put the lights on. Yeah, Mike's over there negotiating. All right, so here we go. Oh, they, they locked it up. They don't trust Mike. They locked it up. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. He said you're not that tight. He said you're not that tight. Yeah. So here we go. If you'll notice, the bikes, they turned the lights on, so Mike's got a little bit of pull. Got a little bit of pull. And then, there you go. I hate to see that thing come in my driveway. It probably will be soon. No, 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 no. Uh, why don't you bring the guy? Uh, David. David. Hey, David, David. David, come over. Come on over. David loves to be interviewed. Oh, good. David's my buddy. You got one? I got one friend at the airport. <laughs> Hi, David. I'm Hi. Hank. Glad to meet you. David, nice to meet you, sir. So, yeah, that, first of all, great, great place to park. In the shade. In the shade. You know, we should have had that spot. <laughs> <laughs> when you lived in Florida a long time, you know where to park. Yeah, you do. <laughs> that, but that's where they assigned us because he had all the pull for us. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know Dave was coming. You didn't know that? <laughs> okay. So tell us a little bit about the truck. What? what uh, so that vehicle right there is what we deploy for our SWAT team and for our emergency response team. Um, a lot of times it's uh, what we deploy our guys into uh, barricaded suspects or if we have an individual that may be armed, it provides our guys with the uh, the protection they need to go on scene and to make sure we can get the job done safely. Outstanding. Now, what's up on top there? Up top is a is a turret. Uh, if we need to put somebody up there to have high cover for us or something like that, it spins completely it spins, around yep. and it provides whoever's up top there the the cover just like the guys down here have. Now, I imagine you probably get about 85 miles to the gallon with that. Oh yeah, about 8.5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But That's yeah, it's a it's a pretty heavy truck, um, but it's a necessity. Yes, I got to tell you, and and I'm, I'm a firm believer in this. First of all. I could never be what you do because I'd be scared to death to go into some place and know that somebody wants to shoot at me. Uh, I've been uh, I've been doing this for 18 years, and uh, my wife asks me every day, "How do you enjoy going to work every single day after 18 years?" And you know, Sheriff Gibson says all the time, "It's a calling, and you have to have that special place in your heart to, yep. to want to take care of people and protect people." Uh, well, you're right on that. <laughs> you are right on that. Look, so take a look over here in this. I don't know. We're in that camera. Okay. Take a look in there. Anybody you want to do a shout out to, like your wife, to say, hey, thanks. I enjoyed going to work today. Oh, uh, <laughs> always a shout out to my wife and my three girls and to all the men and women out there on the streets right now protecting us and to all the men and women overseas keeping us safe as well. I appreciate it. Thank right, you sir. so much. You have a great one. And, you know, if you move the truck, we'll switch. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you how you know David. How do I know David? Okay. David last year drove the Camaro for the USO Rock Force. He was the lead car. Oh, yes, what's he doing? Okay. Yep. All we right. Had, when we had to pick one of the ladies up that got uh, thrown yeah, off hurt. the bike. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. Sometimes people forget that uh, you got to think all the time when you're on one of those yeah. rides. We'll be out there again this we'll year. That's another event that we uh, proudly sponsor and support every year. I was a little disappointed you didn't have a helicopter out there last, last year, did you? No. I think they were for a little bit, but no, I think they got called away for a call. Oh, did they? Yep. Yeah, because I'd like to ride in that one time and film. <laughs> we, we don't ride you in that. Yeah, right. In yeah. the back. In the back I, no, the I'm going to be on the turret. No, we'll put you in the back. <laughs> on the back, you mean drag me? Yeah. No. yeah. Okay. Just wear some earplugs. The tires, uh, like, the tires like to hum a little bit. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> Sir, you and tell everybody day. in your department we appreciate no, everything we appreciate they do. No, thank and, you uh, very much. Have a safe day. All right. Yeah, have a good one. Thanks. Of course. All right. So there you go. Where are you going? Get back over here. Don't run away. Don't run away. You're not done yet. So anyhow, all right, so you know somebody in the Sheriff's Department, big deal. I know a bunch of people in the Sheriff's Department. So do I. But I ain't naming them because they might say they don't know me. They don't, they, they won't claim you. Yeah, one will, but I, that's okay. The only reason they know you, you're probably like, even got your picture in the post office. I do. You know. Yep. That's that's probably how it just says wanted though, not wanted dead or alive. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But, all right, so we're out here, we, we, we saw the Sheriff. Um, well, he's all David, not the Sheriff's not here yet. All right. So David from the sheriff's department. The sheriff's not here yet. Um, what's the name of the sheriff? Sheriff Russ Gibson. I just wanted to make sure you knew. I, I knew that. I knew that. So hey, everybody at home, listen. It's not too late to come here. Like like Mike said, they're going to start the main bands going on at five o'clock, five to seven. So you need to come out here. You need to support it. See all the vendors that you got out here. Um, you guys walked around a little earlier and, and shot some video. Shot some video and everything. Talked to some. Like I said, you got over 50 vendors here. All different, not just all different types of vendors. You name it, you're looking for it. They're out here. Now, so. I'll tell you this: our truck is right next to the to the USO um, of all things tent. We forgot ours. Anyhow, if you come over and you sign the banner, they're going to give you a ticket. To go to where? Missions Barbecue for a free pork sandwich or a free sandwich of any of your choosing. So. so there you go. You do two things. Number one, you cheer somebody up that's that's being deployed right now because they get a care package. All right. And they'll give you a ticket to go get a free bite to eat yep. 
And if you do that, go just before noon. What happens just before noon? They play the national anthem. Everything in that restaurant stops, even the kitchen, and everybody stands and for the Pledge of Allegiance and the national anthem. There you go. I mean, I got to tell you, it brought tears to my eyes the first time I saw it. And everybody, even the little kids, were standing there with their dads and they had their hands over their heart and everything else. It was really something. Now, we know that the wall's here. Who else was here that, that um, I, I see, you said the Army's here? The U.S. Army's over here recruiting for Kissimmee. Yeah. Our, friend, our, star, our friend, Sergeant Castillo from the U.S. Army. The guy that rode in with the broken arm? Yep. Okay. Yep. Him and Sergeant Castro that rode in with us for the uh, Predator game. Yep. They, they're both out here. Um, the Armory's here for... Uh, Maybe you can get one of those guys to come over and do an interview. I probably can. I can probably go get Sergeant Castillo real quick. Yeah. Go get that and I'll, I'll sing and dance till you come back. I'll have David come put handcuffs on you. For oh, no, no, don't do that. I've had that before. No, thank you. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna switch cameras. I'm going over here. So let's see what happens if, if, I, if they can keep up with me. Oh, look, isn't that something? Oh, no. As Just as I moved, a swarm of love bugs came in. This is something else. But anyhow, if you look behind you, you're going to see a whole bunch of vendors out there. Hello, dear. Come on over and say hello. We're talking to people on Facebook and um, Inst Instagram? Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. Okay, well, over there now. You gotta say hello. Who do we have here? Uh, this is Jean Milner. I'm uh, Unit 10, American Legion Auxiliary Chaplain. Well, let me tell you, Chaplain, I was in there yesterday. I was very impressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a good post. Oh, and you go. You look out the back door, and you got the lake here. Exactly. How long has this post been here? It's got to be a while. Uh, if you look inside, there's a picture on the wall from 1910. 1910. Mm -hmm. Now, I know it's not open to the public though, right? You got to be a, a, a member to get in or go in with a member. If you come, if you want to come into our post, you sign our guest book and we will welcome you with open arms. All right, there, I got to tell you, and they're the ones that are sponsoring this today. So you got to come down again. They're going to be going till seven o'clock tonight. The band starts, the main band starts at uh, five to seven. 50 vendors, you got everybody out here. The park is beautiful. There's a Come little bit down. of breeze. Come on down. And, Drink. yeah, Drink. and you can go in and visit in there, just sign their book. I gotta tell you, they're the nicest people around. They even let me in. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> you have a good one. So, there you see, we see, we got a bunch of people out here. I see a bounce house over there. We're kind of uh, where we're locked in a little bit because we have to stay close to the van, that's where our equipment is, and we have to have power, so we sit there. Now, Ray Lynn is sitting over there under the USO tent, and I'm gonna tell you the story about Ray Lynn. She shook up a bottle of Coke and handed it to me, and then when I opened it, it went all over me. Thank goodness I had a spare shirt. So if you come over here and you go to the USO spot and you see her, just tell her you shouldn't have shook the Coke like that. And if she offers you a Coke, let her open it. What do we, oh, hey, buddy, you're back. I'm back, how He's you doing? Back. Good. So tell me a little bit, you're way over there, so we'll try to get a camera shot of it. I think they shot something earlier, didn't you? Yes, yes, you did. Yes, we did. So tell us what's going on over there. Well, we are the recruiters in Kissimmee, you know, also in Osceola County. So uh, if you want to join the Army, stop by our tent. But mainly, uh, the main reason why we're here is to support the community and to, uh, um, to share with everybody what the Army is all about. You know, to bring some of our toys. We have a Humvee, up armor Humvee. So the, the general people, where they're not used to seeing military vehicles, they can come and climb on them and take pictures with them. Outstanding. Um, How many guys you got over there? I got six recruiters right now. Okay. Six soldiers out here volunteering their free time to come and spend time with you, with everybody. Now, let me ask you a question. Yes. So you cover all of Osceola County? Yes. Do you have different uh, recruiting offices within Osceola County or just one? Just one in Osceola County. We cover the, the entire county. Now where is your, your recruiting office? It's uh, 1327 East, 1327 East, Osceola uh, Parkway in Kissimmee, Florida, 34744. Now what's it near? What big? It's near, uh, it's Michigan Avenue and um, Osceola Parkway. Okay. So, hey, let me tell you, I, I talked to somebody earlier today and they told me that their son is in the Army. They went in to be, uh, would be an MP in the Army, right? Yes, sir, police. Okay. He went in to be an MP. They're getting paid to go to school. 
They're learning the trade, and when he gets out, he wants to be a, a policeman. Correct. So, hey, I got to tell you, there's a lot of opportunities there. Go in there, learn a good trade, become a man. That's the main thing. There's too many of us out here that, you know, we just slide through life and go, oh, you know, I, I'll let somebody else do it. These guys step up and do it every day. So, again, thank you so much. Thank you. And we will try to see what we got for footage over there. I see the number over there, if you want to call them, is 1-800-USA-ARMY. My eyesight's almost 2020. I had to close one. You can also one. call me directly at 863-430-7852. 863-430-7852. And tell them who to ask for. Sergeant Castillo. Sergeant Castillo. And he's got a motorcycle, guys. He rides in with us when we do the Predators. The first game, he was a little upset because he broke his arm. Correct? <laughs> Surgery. Surgery. Oh, well. Same thing. Yeah, same around. thing. When I see a cast, it's yeah. like, yeah. I'm getting better. All right, yeah. good. Good. Well, hopefully you'll be riding in on the next ride we do, which Definitely. we put uh, Mike in charge. Definitely. Mike, what do you got to say? Uh... Next ride is May 31st. He's already said he's going to, him and Castro already said they're going to come. Outstanding. Now, by the way, that's the Predator game. It's a Friday. Starts at 5? 7.30 is the game. 7.30 is the game. I thought, okay, glad you're here. I'd have had people there a little early. <laughs> now, Cycle Fever TV, CFTV.live, will be doing the same thing this time around where we're going to give away a motorcycle. We're going to take two people out of the crowd, and if they can kick it in the shopping cart, which I couldn't get near the shopping cart, but if, it, if you kick it in the shopping cart and it stays in, you get $20,000 towards a motorcycle from, uh, I think it's going to be iMotorsports. So what can I say? And the games are almost fun. They're, I mean, when I say almost, they're, they're just right to the wire, and then all of a sudden they find a way to lose it. So. I mean, it's like a party, going to a party and there's a football game going on. Yes. It, we brought an Englishman there last time, and he said to me, I like this better than that other type of football you have. So it's a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll see you there. Definitely. Wait, we'll you there. won't be wearing this. You'll be wearing your biker outfit. No, no, no. I might be wearing this. You might I, be I okay. Love, I love my uniform. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. Um, I'm not sure what John's got up his sleeve for me now. You want to just take I'll, – I'll run the camera a little bit, and you can shoot some stuff. I'll let you guys talk a little bit while I run the camera. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what do y'all got going on? I know you're doing a pull-up thing and all kinds of yeah, other stuff. Yeah, we, we got the uh, pull-up bars for those who oh. say they, they're strong, you know. Come and show me. Don't tell me. Show me what you got. Yeah. You do some pull-ups, we got something for you. Also, we have some push-ups. Like I said, we have the Humvee, the Up Armor Humvee, just your regular Humvee. And you can sit on it, you know, take some pictures. Um, and we have the local recruiters. Uh, if you have any questions, they are the experts to answer those questions. Okay. So um, real quick, the United States Army right now is on high demand for infantrymen. So if you are interested on, on becoming an infantryman or woman, the Army is offering $40,000 enlistment bonus for those kind of skills. Also, we need a whole bunch of uh, uh, special forces. So if you think y you, you're good enough to be a special forces, come talk to us. Yep. No problem. That's who I'd go see. I'd go see Sergeant Castillo. Yeah. I don't think I'll make it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little out of shape and a little old. I appreciate everything you do for us and hey, for our and supporting again. the city of Osceola and Kissimmee, everything. Cool. Y'all are here every day to support us. You got it, man. Yep. Take your cycle fever. Yep. You guys Thank are the you. best. Thank you. Thank you. Need to get Jeff over here so we can interview Jeff. Can we? I think he's over. I don't think he's I not. Can find him. Yeah, I'd like to interview him. Maybe I can get him or Joe. Okay. I'll let you go find him if you can. All right, everybody. I'm going to walk back over here. Um, usually we have uh, Sean and Crazy John with us. I don't know where Crazy John is. He could be anywhere in the world. Don't you think, uh, John? Yeah. 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 So this is our tech guy. We have two Johns. We have Crazy John, and I call him IT John. And IT John, you can't see the equipment inside the van, but he's got the van. And just switch cameras so that people can kind of take a look. He's in there, and then that's another camera over there. We usually use 
three to four cameras while we're out. And if he comes back here, I'm going to lean in the truck and I'm going to talk to him and disturb him so I'll see if he can screw him up. Uh, hey, John, what are we on today? We're on Facebook and Twitter. By the way, I'm going to put something. Listen to this sound. Yeah, uh, let's see if I move. This is a fan. You know, he's got all the luxuries here. He's got a sofa. He's got drinks. He's got a fan. So we're out here in the sunlight, and he's sitting in there just having a good old time. But let me tell you something. Without him, we'd be totally lost because he does so much for us. Between him and Michael and, and Sean and Crazy John and everybody else that's in the crew, we don't have a big crew, but we have a real good crew, and that's the important thing. So for everybody out there, you got to come on down. I see somebody's got a couple dogs and a baby, and maybe when they walk through that camera, can you catch them coming through that other camera? There they go. So you can bring your baby, you can bring your pets, and you can come out here and enjoy yourself and have a great, great day. Now I know way over in the corner, and I'm gonna probably try to, to switch one of the cameras in a minute, um, there's a group uh, from Polaris, and they're running the, um, uh, I'll think of the name of them. You know, the bad part about me being old is I can't remember stuff. Um, what are those things called? You remember? No, no. Uh, yeah. John's, John's really into it. Um, oh, gosh. Anyhow, it's the Polaris idea for, oh, come on, Hank. Hey, Mike. What's Polaris's, what are those things called? Slingshot. See, I told you I would get it. It only took me 15 tries. And the worst part is I've done two runs on them, on the slingshots, and of all things, I can't remember their names. So what can I tell you on that? Now, I don't know where, where John's going now. He's, he's heading out somewhere. Oh, this lady looks really important over here with the paper. Let's see. Hang on. I'm gonna holler to her. Put her on a camera when she walks by. Right? Oh, she turned. Where you going, ma'am? Where you going? Come on over here. You look very important. You look important with that paper and the camera, a little tag. Yeah. Come on right over here. Let's see. We're gonna put you on camera right here. All right. I know. Hey, how are you? Good. Who are we? I'm, I'm Connie. Who? I'm Connie. Florida. Yeah. What's so important on that? I had a POW bracelet when I was in junior high. Yeah. I found it today. Outstanding. Over, over on the wall? I found it on the wall. Oh. Great. I'm, you know, don't it's make amazing. me cry now. <laughs> don't make me cry, please. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's amazing. It is. I mean, I can't tell you how many people will go over to that wall and all of a sudden they find somebody and they go, Oh no! I, oh, I've been waiting all these years. All so that's great. Years. Do you can can you want to disclose the name there or not? Absolutely. His name is Thomas Robert Bliss. He was from the Marine Corps, a corporal. All right. So that's great. That's so awesome. Are you going over to tell somebody? Is that where you I were walking? Am. I figured. I, <laughs> I was watching you, and I go, "Now this lady's very intense right I now." I am. It's that so is. amazing. This event is so amazing. So, now whereabouts do you live in Florida? I live in Groveland, Florida. Okay. Up uh, off of what, 75? Uh, 27. 27. 27. Yeah. Okay, I've been up there. There's a couple motorcycle places up there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a couple. Yeah, a couple. So, but uh, is this your first time here? This is my first event. Absolutely. Well, we're also going to have a ride, and, and I don't know. Come on over here a minute. When is, when is the USO ride? September 21st, we're having a USO ride, and it's going to be in Kissimmee. It's going to be at Austin Tyndall Park, and we have to go back over here because we're not, oh, we were on camera. Um, but if you want to come on down, and we'll have vendors there, and we do the, basically the same thing. Cycle Fever TV does a lot of stuff with the veterans, Mission 22. Um, we just try our hardest to support our troops while they're over there and while they're back over here. But 
I want to thank you for coming out. Thank you. I and I'm so so happy that you <laughs> found that person. I am thrilled. I have been wondering for years and years and years, and this is the most emotional moment that I've had in so long. It's it's closure. Outstanding. It's closure. So thank you so much. Absolutely. And, and you have a great time. Thank Say you. goodbye to everybody. Hey, goodbye everybody. Thank you and thank you to our veterans. We love you and we honor you and we're so thankful that you're there for us. Thank you. All right, there you go. Pardon? I think the wall is going to be there the 21st. Awesome. Yeah, it, I think it is. The, yes, the wall. The, the wall is going to be at the USO ride. When I see it again, it'll be in September. And here comes Mike. He's just kind of trudging along. Where's who at? They'll be here in a few minutes. Like, who's they? Slingshot people. Slingshot people, okay. So. I did tell you, come on over here. That young lady that you just saw, yeah. when she was in school, she had a bracelet for a um, POW. Uh -huh. And uh, she found the name on the wall, missing an action wall. Wow. And she was, she was really uh, emotional about it, I'll put it that way. And, but she was a, it was a happy emotion. Sure you didn't scare her? Could have been John, but not me. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Good. So... All right, um, so let's do a little talking about the USO ride that you're going to be doing. USO ride, September 21st at 4100 Foggy Creek Road at Austin Kendall Sports Complex. Okay, for everybody, this is a change from what they've been doing. Uh, I've heard a lot of pluses about this, um, and, and nothing against anybody, but the plus is that a lot of riders sometimes don't like to go to a different uh, motorcycle dealership if it's not their bike. So this one here is a neutral site, correct? Correct. And all, all bikes are welcome. All bikes, all trikes. Yep. And if you can't ride, you can go over and make a donation. Correct. <clears throat> and tell everybody what where it goes and what happens. I don't know the official route yet because Danny hasn't officially He's, there's two different routes. Danny hasn't decided which one he's doing. One is under road construction. We're hoping the road construction is going to be open. Because from what I hear, that route is going to be superior to any route we've ever done yet. Okay. Okay. The road's been delayed, and they're hoping that it's going to be finished for that ride. Well, let me tell you something. Any road in Florida has been delayed. Yes. Try I-4 once. Try I-4. It's going to be way delayed. Now, where does the money you raise for this, what, what, what happens there? We all 100% of the money goes to USO Jacksonville for the care package program that we've done for the last 14 years. Now, I, I, I know that you and I've talked a little bit and I was confused. There's USO National? Yes, and then there's 18 independent USOs. Okay, and you are the independent for Florida? I, I support USO Jacksonville. Okay, now does Jacksonville just cover what? Jacksonville covers the Jacksonville area, comes down the coast, comes back up to through the state of Florida all the way up through Central Florida and goes back to the Florida Georgia line. All right, so there you go. So tell me the name of the organization one more time. USO it's, Jacksonville? It's, it's the name of the ride. In the not the ride, I know, the, the name of the organization. The Don't the be or screwing me up. I'm not. The yes, name, you are. The organization that we support is USO Jacksonville. Okay. The ride is USO Benefit Ride. It's a separate entity from Jacksonville. It's its own 501c3 everything. Okay. Okay. USO Jacksonville is its own 501c3 also. Uh, All money raised through the USO benefit ride goes back to Jacksonville. And then they disperse. And then they disperse the care packages over to the troops. All right. Sounds good. Well, all I can say is the crowd's starting to get a little bit bigger. Um, I see, uh, is that Colonel Sanders over there? Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. All right, for everybody, he, this guy was over signing um, the USO um, banner, <laughs> and I looked at him, and I said, I can't, I won't say anything. I don't, because he'll think I'm crazy if I say, you look like Colonel Sanders. So I didn't say anything, but I don't know if he can come over. No, I guess he's, I guess we scared him. All right, he said in 15 minutes, so we'll try to get him in the second half. Oh man, I could use some chicken. 
Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Yeah, fried chicken. Finger licking good. I see. I see you had ribs. I had ribs. They were good. What happened to the sandwiches that we brought? You brought it with mustard. I don't like mustard. Boy, you you and Crazy I'm, John. I'm picky. Picky? <laughs> I guess so. Well, can you do me a favor? Can you take that camera uh -huh. and try to zoom in on the slingshots over there? Yep. And when you got them in there, John's going to switch. All right? So... Anyhow, we're out here. We're having a great time. We'd like to see you guys come on out. Um, again, Kissimmee Lakefront, it's free. Come out. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Uh, I know there's stuff going on on the um, uh, stage right now, but we're far enough away that I can't really hear them, so I'm not going to worry about it. And let's see. All right, those are the slingshots I was telling you about that I couldn't remember. And you see the Polaris tent. And from what I understand, we're going to have somebody come over and talk in a little bit. I'm getting that look. They're coming. And they have 10 chapters in the state of Florida. And they got one, I think he said Tennessee. So we're going to see what's going on. They'll tell us a little bit when they come. And when they do come, I'm going to let Mike do the interview. And the reason for that is I'm losing my voice. I'm still just getting over my cold. I see a guy over here. Come on over. How you doing, sir? Who do we have here? My name's Robert Frazier. Robert, come on right over here. Get you in so we can see you. Oh, there you are. Look right into that camera. Where are you from, Robert? I'm actually from Fontana, California, but live in Orlando, Florida. Okay, what brought you from California to here? Don't tell me taxes. No, uh, well, actually, that's a good thing. So, yes, taxes did bring me. No, um, I actually followed a pastor of mine from my church to when he uh, got promoted to a position here in Orlando, Florida. Wow. Okay, so what church? Well, it's an, actually an organization called Converge. Okay. Tell so, me a little bit about Converge without getting too religious. Okay. Well, my, my, my pastor friend, he oversees the southeast region uh, where he oversees about 250 churches in the Caribbean, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi. That's a busy pastor. Yes, he is. He definitely is. And, and I'm his volunteer aide. All right. I, so I uh, I drive him around. I, I do paperwork for him and uh, just serve him. Outstanding. That is great. And how long have you been in Florida now? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. What's the difference between your view of California, without knocking anything, but yeah. the difference between California and Florida? What, what do you see as the big differences? Honestly? Yes. The, you, your, your support of the military. Outstanding, really. Yes. Uh, you, you would never see anything like this in California. Wow. All right. Well, California, anybody out there, we're streaming live right now. Yeah, okay. So anybody out in California or any other state, you definitely need to be supporting our, our troops because without them, you wouldn't have freedom. And you got to remember that. They gave up something for you, so you need to support them. Well, I appreciate you coming by. I'm yeah. glad you uh, have a good time. Yes. Anything special here you, that you saw that you liked that you should tell people to come by? Uh, actually, because I used to be an Army recruiter, uh, I'd say go talk with the Army. Hey. We just had them on a little bit ago yeah. with Castillo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So So I, I would say go talk with the Army and, and all the great uh, vendors. Yeah. You know, I, would, I would see them. So. Now, this is your first time to this one? Because last year it rained. Yes, sir. It, it rained fun. like mad. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So this was gorgeous. Oh, I know. So the good, the good man. Yeah, was he's taking out care. For us. Yep, yeah. taking care of us. So again, thank you. Tell yeah. your pastor thank you. Oh, and, not a uh, And places you need, you named, are pretty neat places. Oh, thank you, sir. Yep. All so, right. all right. Again, thank you, and all have right, a great day. You. you too. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. He's he's trying to walk away with my. There we go. <laughs> Trying to steal our microphone. Well, Mike, I don't see anybody coming right away. Do you? Oh, they're on the stage right now. Well, come on over here and talk to me then. Don't be, uh, don't be so shy. As a matter of fact, you talk for me. I got to go get a drink into my throat. Bye, Bye, Mike. Raylan, throw a drink on him again. So, oh, I guess we're gonna sit there and. Uh, Waiting for Jeff Falk to come from uh, American Legion Riders to give us an interview, and but right now he's tied up with the mayor doing a proclamation on stage, and then we're waiting for the slingshot people. So uh, 
Yeah. For trademark purposes, okay. so for KFP. Yep. Um, so basically, what are we going to do? Well, we stream live. Okay. We go on our Facebook and Instagram. Okay, I'm going to get you my card. Yeah. So you get to know who I am. Oh, you're going to tell us who you are. But I'll give it, I, I don't know if we, you got time to put that up? Okay. So right now, we're, we're filming with that part, but we're going to come right over here to this camera. So what else do I need to know? Well, I got you. I'm the strip. I'm a, I'm a service officer and a sergeant at arms at the Sixth Coast. Okay. I'm, I'm a life member of the American Legion. Uh, well, we're gonna let you tell everybody that. Are you ready? And I'm the uh, Global Grand Ambassador for That's the one. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lead into that. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, we're gonna switch cameras here a minute and bang. Okay. You look into this camera. Look at this face. I was sitting over there at the USO. Hold on a second. All right. It's, it's a little messed up, but, you know, <laughs> it's okay. I got to tell you, I was sitting over there, and I said, I'm not going to make a fool of myself. I'm not going to say, you look like Colonel Sanders. And then all of a sudden, somebody else said something. And Tell me about Colonel Sanders. Well, he's a good fella, but he sort of died in 1980. But KFC, yeah. which happens to still own the trademark and the image, hired me in 2010 to be their brand ambassador. And I am currently the uh, official global brand ambassador for Kentucky Fried Chicken worldwide. I, I do all the Colonel Sander events, TV commercials all around the world. I've done two of the American commercials, but they've done a little, little bit of dignity, you see. But, uh, <laughs> still, but uh, I enjoy going around representing the brand all, and uh, having a good time and uh, being peace, goodwill, and now, do you get to travel overseas, too? Yes, sir. I just came back three weeks ago. I did a KFC convention in Toronto, Canada. Oh, my daughter and, uh, lives in Toronto. Next time you go, I'll, I'll tell her to go look you up. Mm, okay, all right. Well, they got good gravy over there. They still make the gravy the old-fashioned way. Oh, okay. Crackling, which is, I like that. Yeah. Now, okay, so you represent KFC, the Colonel Sanders side. What else do you do? You got other things that you do when you're not uh, uh, well going correct. all around the well, world. Well, right now, if you notice, I do have an American Legion hat on. Yes. I am the service officer and the ser and the sergeant at arms here at this post here in Kissimmee Post 10. And I noticed Kissimmee it says Post. Air Force on it. So it's you were Air in the Force. Air Force. I was in the United States Air Force. So was my dad. He, he was all over the place, including Thule, Greenland. Well, I, I, I've never been to Thule, but I flew over it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I, we had some fun days. He was a, I guess you would say a master sergeant. He ran all the uh, clubs, the officers clubs and stuff. Well, it had been interesting duty. Oh yeah. He, well, uh, anyway, I was a, uh, I was a crew member on the EC-121s. It was the precursor to AWACS. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I was a radar weapons control technician and at some ground-based radars. I was been stationed in Iceland, and uh, basically I enjoyed that. So now you're here. Now I'm here. And post 10. I'm here at post 10. And we have a wonderful uh, veterans event here for this is Veterans Day. Yep. Uh, be, uh, veterans of uh, the weekend. Yeah, the whole weekend. So come on out here. We got some good vendors. Uh, if you're a veteran and you're wanting to join the American Legion, come see me. We, we can take care of that. 
and have a good time and just be with all our friends and family here. You know, I'm going to tell you, I was just had a guy on that was from California, and I asked him this question. I said, you know, what is the big difference you see between California and Florida? Thinking I would think the weather, the taxes. He said, in California, you would never see anything like this. He says, Florida supports all, all of their veterans. That's right, that's right. And so well, that's California is sort of a world of its own, uh, if you would. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Yes, we will. We, not that we, uh, you know, I just, I just can't understand how people can't support the people that are keeping their freedom for them and giving up their lives and everything else. So that, that yeah, I'm with you. I don't, I don't want to say much more about it, but, you know, I just can't understand that. But I will say that Armed Forces Day here, you got like 50 veterans. I mean veterans. I'll be all right. 50 um, vendors. Mm -hmm. And you got a nice crowd. And at uh, 5 o'clock tonight, if my memory is correct, the lead band comes on and goes mm -hmm. to 7 o'clock. So right now, it's about uh, quarter to four. And by the way, this is free, folks. Yeah, I told them no that. No cover price, no nothing. Just come on in, have a good time. Uh, there's picnic tables out here, good entertainment. We got uh, good, good cold suds over here and the, the concession stand. Yep. We got food. Oh, my goodness. If you could come here and get your belly filled, something's wrong with you. You got it. And there is a couple of country fried chickens in town. But, you know, yeah, you in town. Around. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate, first of all, your service, and then second of all, keeping up. I appreciate it. Y'all keep life finger licking good. Uh, we will. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. Have a later. All right, there you go. I thought I was nuts when I saw Colonel Sanders walking up, but there he was. Big as life. All right, let's see if I can get Mike back in here. You're wearing Mike out. I'm wearing Mike out. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. So. Mike, yes. we're, we're going to get ready to say goodbye for a while, all right? So when you got a couple people getting ready to come over, yep. all right, everybody, of course, if you're watching this, you know where we are. We're on Cycle Fever TV. We're on CFTV.live. We're on Facebook and Instagram today, shooting live. So and when we come back, I think about 5 o'clock we're coming back. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You heard it. He said, yeah. Boy, it's like pulling teeth. You could have said, yeah, come on back at 5 o'clock. Watch what we're doing. Come back at 5 o'clock, watch what we're doing. All right. The band will be going stage live. All right. And then if you get a chance, come on over to the USO uh, 10 over here next to us. Sign the banner, and they will give you a free ticket for a sandwich at Mission Barbecue in Oviedo. So with that being said, hey, if you're watching us now, come on down. If you can get here before, not even before, even while we're on, for the second session, come on out, we'll put you on, and you can tell a little bit about what you like and don't like about Florida. All right, with that being said, you ready? I don't like love bugs. Oh, they, they landed in my cup. I know. And it's, you threw my cup out. You're drinking all your Coke. I know. What can I tell you? All right, everybody, we're going to see you in probably an hour and a half, two hours at the most. Yeah. So there it is. John's going to switch us out. John, take us away.